I'm Jake Bruton, and today on the Build Show Network, I wanna give you seven tips to better use your iPhone as a contractor. Let's do it now. So I realize that not everyone owns an iPhone. Maybe this video isn't for you. Maybe there's some of this video that applies to you. I'm guessing most smartphones operate in basically the same way. However, I don't know for sure because I haven't had a smartphone that wasn't an iPhone. I adopted iPhone early and it's just what I've stuck with. Uh, so my tips are focused partially on that and partially just on the idea that you have the internet in your pocket. So let's start with tip number one. Tip number one is very simple. The code book is free and available online and you have internet access in your pocket. I know that that sounds like a oversimplification, but the code book is free online. Now, I told that to somebody a couple years ago and they're like, no, it's not. You go to the ICC's website and it costs money. Very quickly, you can, quick, you can click through to parts where they're saying, if you wanna print this, it costs money. If you wanna, like, if you stick with it, the website has a free page. You can get uh, basically the newest code. I think 21 is not up yet last time I looked, but 18 is up. Uh, so there is, the code book is available free online. That is a, grand, a game changer for lots of people to not have to you know, run back to the shop to get the code book or anything like that. Uh, number two is box store apps. If you shop at the places like Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, those places, we don't get much from them, but when we do, it's specialty items that we know that they carry or they have something in stock that our local supplier that we like working with better does, doesn't. Their apps and their websites are your friend when it comes to quickly picking up materials. Most of the apps will let you do a pick up in store, buy now, pick up in store. I do that sometimes. The other day I did it for a bathroom fan for a renovation. My guy said, hey, I'm gonna run to Home Depot and get this fan. I said, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get online, pay for it for you because I'm just finishing up my lunch in front of the computer. It's paid for, it's there. It was sitting waiting at the front desk. It saved him 10 minutes of going to pick it up and going through the, through the register process. That makes a difference. Those little things can make a difference in the way your day operates. So the apps will also tell you uh, exactly where the item is in the store. So if it's something that you don't regularly buy from that distributor, you can look at it as you're walking in, find it, it says aisle 19, bay 63 or whatever it is. That is a big time saver. Uh, I know it's a simple thing, but it is a decent time saver. Uh, tip number three is time clock. We're a cost plus builder, which means we have to justify the money that we were charging you meaning we have to be open book, meaning we have to be able to say, look, here's where the guys were. Because everything, all of our crew members have smartphones at this point, uh, we have a digital time clock. We happen to use the Builder Trend app for a lot of stuff. We happen to use Builder Trend for some of our project management, selection tracking, budgeting, all those things, but also time clock, which means they clock in, they clock out, it shows where they were when that happened. And because we have that information, it's easy to import that into the budget. It's easy to take that number and add it into QuickBooks. There are other systems available. QuickBooks has one. There's a, a, a product we used before called ClockShark. I'm not endorsing one of these. I'm telling you the way it works for us. And that time clock is a big deal. The first time that we used it, I had a client the very first day that was a client for a long time. She called and said, I shouldn't have to pay for this one guy. He clocked in at McDonald's this morning. And I said, okay, let me take a look. I jumped on the computer. I called her back. I said, actually he clocked in at one of the box stores that's across the street from McDonald's. And he has a ticket that is three minutes before he clocked in from that box store that I already got the email of the receipt. So he actually shopped for free. And, he, and then he texted me just now and said, hey, I forgot to clock in. Uh, no big deal, I'll, I shopped for free this morning. It was our first day using the phones and I forgot. So that's that's a justification. I have that, I can argue with that client, I can disagree with that a client and say, no, he did the right thing, this is why, here's the proof. If you can prove it, they can't debate it. So it's, it's one more way to like CYA, you know? Uh, after that, the add-ons, tip number four is the add-ons. So 
in operation with another device. So we have uh, the plug-in FLIR camera. It plugs into your phone, and now I have uh, a thermal imaging camera on my phone, and I can use that for inspections. I can use that to figure out things where we have failures. I can look for insulation that's sagging, all those sorts of things. It's easier for me to keep that little $300 or whatever it is uh, FLIR plug-in camera in the center console of my truck than it is to carry a $5,000 FLIR camera around with me at all times. Uh, and then I have it when I need it. It's kind of like a nice flashlight in my truck. I don't use it, but maybe once a month, but when I need it, it's very useful and very helpful for me to have it. In the add-on category, my phone will tether to uh, Bluetooth Connect to our uh, RetroTech blower door. I believe uh, Minneapolis blower door does the same thing now. I don't have the new one from Minneapolis. I have the RetroTech, so I know it works. I can turn the manometer on from outside the building, walk around and, and do inspections. I can do different things on the RetroTech app than what I can do on the, uh, the manometer that comes with the device. So it's just one more thing uh, that gives me a little bit more flexibility. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking to be better at our job Sometimes that's using technology, sometimes that's, uh, you know, specific ways of doing business, whatever it is. In this instance, it's the phone. It helps me quite a bit. Uh, tip number five, if you frame and you have one of those construction master calculators, uh, you can download that calculator as an app on your phone. There are multiple ones, but I like the construction master calculator, adding fractions, doing stair calculations, all sorts of things that you would normally do on the Construction Master Calculator are now available in an app. Yeah, the app's 30 bucks and that sounds outrageous for an app, but how expensive is that calculator if you buy it as a standalone? And this phone is always in my pocket, so I never go to the job without my construction calculator now. Tip number six is kind of quite a few things together here. Uh, tip number six is the camera and the usability of your camera. So number one, uh, I turn location services on on my phone. Uh, I have to have it for time clock anyway. By doing so, the Photos app also operates on location services. So when I take pictures of a project, they log to that location. If you go to your uh, photos on your phone, and you scroll down in iPhoto, so the iPhone, of course, not, not everybody's phone, there is a section that says people and places, and it recognizes some people's faces, so if you're looking for somebody's uh, specific, pictures of a specific person, because you know they were at that job site or whatever, you can do that, or I can go and find stuff from that job site. For instance, uh, let's pick one, if I go to uh, if I'm looking for a floor detail that I know Mike Gurton uh, posted or Mike Gurton put up at a presentation at JLC Live in Providence, Rhode Island in 2018, 2019, somewhere in there, I can go to that peoples and places. I can zoom in on Providence, Rhode Island. I can scroll through those pictures until I see Mike Gurton with a big presentation screen behind him and then I can see what I took pictures of and find that floor detail. I can do the same thing for blocking on a job site. I can zoom into that job site, whatever it is. There's a lot of flexibility there by having location services on. Another way that I use location services is all of our selection shopping process that I'm in charge of. Sometimes it's an architect, sometimes it's an interior designer. All of the ones that I'm in charge of, we go to the same flooring store first every time. And what we do is I take a picture of the client standing in the flooring store, and then the rest of the pictures I take for the next two or three hours while we're selection shopping are of their products because I know that I've seen their face. So I can location-wise zoom in to that flooring store, click on those clients, find those clients' faces, and then I know the next 10 pictures are selections from their job. Uh, it really helps. The other simple thing that you can do in, in iPhoto is you can do shared albums. So I can move all the photos from one client's project into a shared album and then send them the album. It saves me having to put it on a thumb drive and then you know take the thumb drive to them or creating all, or moving it all to 
uh, Google Drive or Dropbox or something and then having to share it with them. It just shortens that step a little bit. Uh, yeah, maybe it's slightly less professional because I'm sharing a photo album with them than if I was providing them with a thumb drive, but it's a digital age and I think that it's an okay thing to do. Uh, another thing that I'll note that's kind of camera thing, but I, I haven't really used yet. If you have one of the iPhones with the three cameras on the back, it has built-in LiDAR or some version of they're using a math algorithm to make the three cameras work like LiDAR, I think is how it is. Uh, that LiDAR, you can then download apps uh, and you can do three-dimensional uh, tracking of an entire space. So I've created, uh, you know, at the Hilltop House, I took uh, pictures of the blocking that we did in the pantry in the three-dimensional space so that it could kind of be referenced all at once. I'm not sure if that's any better than uh, the, you know, photo of each wall. It's interesting. We'll see where this goes. I think that there might be applications for it at some point with us. I just don't know what they are yet. So that LiDAR thing, hey, if you find a way to make it useful for your company, send me uh, uh, a notification on that. Send me a message so that I know what I'm missing out on. Also, if I forgot anything on any of this that you think is a great tip, post it to me on Instagram, comment on this post when this post goes up uh, and let me know. Now, I will leave you with tip number seven. Tip number seven is absolutely the biggest, most important tip of all of these iPhone tips. And that tip is the do not disturb feature on the phone. Uh, for a long time, I took my phone and I put it on the charger when I got home because I didn't want clients to bother me in the evening. I didn't want architects or subcontractors calling me. I'm done with work for the day. I'm not a fireman. Uh, if the house is on fire, call the fire department. Don't call me. We'll talk about it in the morning. So I just, you know, I told people, I put my phone away. Now I do that some, but my phone at five o'clock automatically goes to do not disturb which means if you're not one of the eight to 10 people that are in my favorites list, you don't get through. It goes straight to voicemail when you call and uh, it's not my problem until the next morning. I choose to not look at things. I don't let it bother me in the evening. I'm not getting up at eight o'clock at night to go see why uh, you know a door is not functioning as properly as we thought it was going to and what we need to do to adjust it the next morning. That's not how we operate. We're a real business. We have hours that we're closed. Uh, so the do not disturb feature, I also have it set for the weekends too. Turn that on, get your weekends, get your evenings back. You're running a real business. Uh, they can't call their, their auto mechanic on a Saturday morning and go, Hey, it's making a ticking noise. They know they have to wait till the shop opens on Monday. They can't call their physician. Most people can't call their physician on Monday morning and say, this is what we need to do. Uh, or on Sunday morning and say, this is what we need to do the rest of the week. So don't let people do that to you. You wouldn't want them, you wouldn't want to do it, be able to do it to them. So uh, those are my seven tips. Codebook, box store apps, time clock, uh, add-on devices like the FLIR camera, and then uh, Construction Master Pro Calculator, the real camera in your phone, location services, and use that do not disturb feature. It will change the way that you operate and you'll like it. Thanks for watching this week on the Build Show Network. Don't forget to subscribe to the uh, newsletter. There's a lot of content. You'll miss something if you're not, uh, if you're not subscribed. Have a good day.